I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore, and this is the Shoei Hornet X2. It's a revision from the old Hornet DS for 2015, and it addresses a lot of the issues that the older helmet suffered from. We're talking about a DOT and Snell M2015 rated helmet, so it's nice and safe. We've come to expect that from Shoei. Also, it uses their AIM Plus outer shell. This is going to be multiple layers of different uh, fibers, both organic and fiberglass. It's hand-formed. It's going to be extremely strong, extremely lightweight. Now, in terms of the overall weight of this helmet, it's not actually the lightest we've ever ever seen. 3.9 pounds for this size large, but that's partly because we're blending street and dirt technologies. That longer face shield, etc., the chin bar, that adds to the weight components. Now, this thing has a lot of new venting built into it, and that's one of the critical factors with this helmet. So we'll start up front here with the visor system. It's wider, it's longer now, which is great because the old one was a little bit stubby. So it's going to be a little better at protecting you from roost, also from the dropping sunlight. However, they've redesigned it. This was extensively tested in their wind tunnels, so it's going to be very aerodynamic. You'll see lots of these big louvers cut out. That's going to help reduce the lift factor, reduce the drag at those higher highway speeds. Also, not only does it pass through a lot of air to keep it nice and stable, but it's designed to pump air into this top vent, and this has been redesigned a little bit. Now, it still is very similar to the old style. However, it's very easy to get access to this now, which is going to improve it for maintenance and cleaning. The old style used to get gummed up with dust really quickly, but this one, you can pop this louver off very quick, and you have access to this thing, and you can easily clean it out. Now, the, the visor system is a three-mount system. So you'll see this one on top that we mentioned. Very easy to remove this. All you do is press down on this tab between these two little lines and you pull this straight out. But first, you've got to detach it from the sides. Fortunately, it's extremely easy thanks to these new quarter turn screws. One of my favorite features about this helmet. Quarter turn screws that you can be, uh, they can be replaced if you lose them or break them. They're made from plastic. So it's very easy to get this off, no tools required. Once it's off, you have sort of that Street Fighter configuration. It's a little goofy because there's just straight hole drilled in the top and it doesn't come with any sort of plug for that. However, you could run it without the visor if you wanted to. Another thing that's great about the visor system is that it's now been, uh, it's been moved above the mounting plate for the shield. So as you can see, it uses their ratcheting base plate system here. That's going to help allow this to be very easy for removal and cleaning as well. You no longer have to yank the visor off. So you pull this up, pop it out just like all the other showy street bike helmets, and it's going to be very easy to do. The shield is available either in the clear, also a dark smoke or a reflective lens finish, and it's pin lock ready. So you'll see these little pins here, but it also comes with the pin lock Evo insert. So that's coming in the box, a little bit extra value to earn the money. This thing's about 600 bucks full retail, 650 for graphics, so it's definitely not inexpensive. But the shield has some other features we need to talk about. They've added this little ridge along the top. It's going to give it a little bit more strength. So it shouldn't bend as much on those high pressure, high speed scenarios when the wind's pressing against it. Also, it's not going to bend and flex as you move it up and down with your fingers. That's another cool thing about it is that it now locks into place. The old DS, one of the problems with that helmet is that it never really seemed to close the shield all the way. This one does. It has a new lock mechanism down here. You can hear it pop right in. It's very, very secure. The rationing base plate system helps suck it back against the eye port and the gasket has been redesigned and beefed up as well. So it's going to give you a quieter, more comfortable ride as you're putting in those long miles. Let's talk about some other venting features on the front of this thing. You have this one on the chin bar, and the cool thing about it is it has sort of the motocross off-road style chin bar. However, the actual mouthpiece is not. It's solid. That's going to be great because at high speeds, you don't want a big open face up there. You're not, you don't want anything pumping through. So this is going to be great, especially when it's nasty outside. The vent is very street bike-like, uh, street bike-ish. You're going to be able to open or close this. It pumps air into the inside of the shield, also straight into the face. It comes with a removable chin curtain, also a removable breath box that comes in up to, on top of the nose piece to help create the anti-fogging properties. Now, that's the intake vent there. We talked about the one on top. There's also one across the front of the brow here. So that's very easy to operate, very low profile. You can slip it in and adjust it as needed. On the back side of things, you can't tailor how much is coming out of the helmet. However, you're going to see this cool louvered design on the back for the exhaust vents and also down here around the neck. One of the cool things about this is if you'll notice the shape of the helmet, it kind of comes around and, and once it gets across the crown, it slants sharply towards the back. Helps create that low pressure zone to pull that air away from your head, so it's going to exhaust very well. On the interior of the helmet, that's been redesigned as well. You're going to find a new 3D Max Dry system. This is their second iteration. 
The cheek pads are quick release or uh, emergency release so you actually can get some assistance on the side of the road. If uh, medical personnel need to yank these out, you see the red tabs, they slip it out and they can remove the helmet very safely. It's a nice feature to have. Also, the cheek pads are tailorable. So if you want to get different thickness on the cheek pads, you can get a better fit. Another thing to note about these cheek pads is that the, the material on them has been redesigned. The interior liner has been updated. It's a lot softer than it used to be. It used to be really scratchy if you had stubble on your face. This one is much more comfortable. Check it out online. Get more information on these. You can see all the details like the little speaker pockets that pop out on the inside. There's a lot going on with this helmet and it's really exciting to see the revisions because I think it's better not only for off-road riders but street riders as well. Leave me your comments on the new Shoei Horna X2. Let me know what you think about it, the colors you like the best, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well for more product videos like this.